Um, I also would like to be able to short share my story with the world and um, what they did to me instead of it being a hush hush secret to benefit all of them. Has Britney Spears once again been manipulated because of her conservatorship? Could her sister Jamie Lynn possibly be involved? And are the Kardashians being accused of way more than cultural appropriation this time? Stay tuned to find out exactly why fans think the Kardashians stole $600 million from Britney Spears. Most celebrities are very familiar with being center stage in popular gossip and scandals, and while most of them are easily debunked or are quick to lose their online traction, this latest theory Britney fans can't stop talking about has all our jaws on the floor. Before we get into the accusations and speculations, we'd like to talk a little bit about Britney Spears' conservatorship and how it affected the iconic actor and artist's life. Britney's conservatorship was made permanent sometime in late 2008, following the strange behaviors she displayed after getting a divorce from Kevin Federline and losing custody of her two kids. Strange behaviors like shaving her whole head and using an umbrella to hit a photographer's car. Phew, no one's ever forgetting that moment. The conservatorship caused her father, Jamie Spears, to be in control of her estate, her financial affairs, and even her personal life. This caused major problems for the artist as it constantly restricted her life and her choices for years. All of this brought about the hashtag Free Britney movement, a movement that has long criticized her conservatorship and is tirelessly showing support for the actress. And though Britney's 13-year-long conservatorship finally came to an end on the 12th of November 2021, her loving fans are still devoted to protecting her and writing all the ways she was wronged during her conservatorship. That brings us to this video's main topic and the question we're all dying to have answered. Did the Kardashians really steal $600 million from Britney Spears? Well, her fans certainly think so. A bunch of them have come forward to highlight something that happened during Britney's conservatorship that seems especially shady. According to fans, Britney's attorney Matthew Rosengart, the former federal prosecutor that helped her terminate her long-standing conservatorship, has recently called out American entrepreneur and Britney's former business manager, Lou Taylor, and the Kardashians for working with her. Now, we all know the Kardashians are no strangers to getting called out or canceled, and sometimes it all ends up not being that serious, but these theories are nothing short of compelling, and they really make you take a look at the Kardashians and wonder, what if? Kim Kardashian channels her, channels inner, her cougar inner cougar with Justin, with Justin Bieber. Bieber. Is this a joke? Why they love their prey so young. That is so embarrassing. To understand all of this, we need to go way back to 2018, back to when Britney's sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, was made the trustee of Britney's SJB Revocable Trust Fund, which protected all the singer's pre-conservatorship assets. All this happened not long before Britney says she was forced into a mental facility and thought they were going to try to kill her. Now this is where things get a little spooky. Had Britney actually died, Jamie Lynn would have had total control over all of those assets since she was made Britney's trustee. The timeline of the whole thing certainly smells a little fishy. It's no secret among Britney Spears fans that Lou Taylor has been trying to gain access to Britney's trust for a really long time. Leaked emails show that right after Britney was put under a conservatorship, Lou Taylor was fighting to become Britney's trustee, but the role was given to Jamie Lynn instead. After Jamie Lynn was made the trustee, she tried to use her power to file a petition to move Britney's money into a separately managed trust account with a company named Stonebridge. Now, this all sounds incredibly suspicious already, but just you wait, things get even worse. It turns out that Lou Taylor was once an investment advisor at Stonebridge Wealth Management and was even listed as the vice president at one point. So, was the petition Jamie Lynn tried to file all a ploy to move Britney's money into Lou Taylor's old investment firm? And taking a look at Stonebridge's financial records, it shows that their assets under management went up and then down by $600 million right around the time Jamie Lynn filed for her petition. All of this could put Jamie Lynn Spears in serious trouble as she withdrew her petition and even said she was going to resign as Britney's trustee, so if any of Britney's money really did move from the trust and into Stonebridge, it would have been done without the approval of the court. Another interesting thing about all of this is that despite Jamie Lynn trying to move Britney's money, she never actually took any of the steps to become trustee and couldn't actually become trustee until she performed the minimal necessary tasks. Therefore, Jamie Lynn was trying to move Britney's money into Stonebridge without having any real authority to do so. In a now deleted episode of the Call Her Daddy podcast, Jamie Lynn talks about having nothing to do with the conservatorship and says that she didn't sign anything for her sister, even though Britney asked her to do so, stating, my sister asked me to oversee a trust if something were to happen to her. Jamie Lynn claims that she never signed or agreed to anything because she felt uncomfortable getting involved with it, saying it was still 
still under the umbrella of the conservatorship and she wanted no part in it, but Britney's fans quickly called her out on this and accused her of lying. Well, while we can't say for sure who's lying and who isn't, we think it's safe to say that Britney's fans are constantly smelling rats when it comes to Jamie Lynn Spears and we can't all help but wonder if these fans might be onto something. Many of said fans also believe that the $600 million was quickly moved out of Stonebridge and into a holding company in Panama by the same name. An ICIJ investigation brought the Panama Papers to light, which unveiled how the rich have been using offshore companies in Panama to hide their corruption. Could Stonebridge and by extension Jamie Lynn and Lou Taylor be involved in all of this? Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. How exactly do the Kardashians fit into all of this? Well, earlier this year there was an article released by Forbes talking about Kim Kardashian being $600 million richer. Britney's fans are convinced that this is more than just a coincidence and it also doesn't help that based on documents from Kim's divorce with her now ex-husband Kanye West, fans found out that Lou Taylor is the person in control of Kim Kardashian's trust. Fans are now speculating that Lou Taylor must have hidden the $600 million in Kim's estate. And with Kylie Jenner selling half of her company for the large and familiar sum of $600 million, as reported by numerous websites, Britney's fans are convinced that this could be an actual money laundering scheme because according to the theories and everything we've just said, the money would have gone from Britney's trust to Stonebridge to Panama and then back to the United States through Kim Kardashian and then over to her sister, Kylie Jenner. This all leads back to what we said earlier about Matthew Rosengart condemning the Kardashians for working with Lou Taylor. Could all of this have been what he meant? Could he possibly have his own suspicions and is trying to protect Britney? We won't know anything for sure until more information comes to light. Now, we'd just like to clear up that some of the things said in this video are yet to be confirmed. And while Britney fans have certainly proven to be decent detectives, most of these, like we said earlier, are speculations and theories from fans who truly adore Britney and want to do everything they can to protect and help her. And if it all is true, it would certainly be a scandal people will be talking about for years to come. One Britney fan even tweeted at the FBI how it would be very embarrassing for a bunch of fans on Twitter to crack one of the biggest scandals in Hollywood before them. But with all that said, we speak for everyone when we say that some of the theories cooked up by these Britney fans sound pretty convincing and that the documents they were able to uncover certainly seem to tell a persuasive story. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Did you learn something new about Britney Spears? What are your thoughts on Jamie Lynn and Lou Taylor? Could the Kardashians really be involved in this? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.